What do you call men who make women belong in the kitchen jokes? Single. At the age of 65 my grandma started walking 10 kilometers a day. She's 92 now and we have no idea where she is. There was a Roman emperor who never aged after he turned 19. His name was Constantine. I would tell you a good chemistry joke. But all the good ones are gone. My favorite classical musician just died. Now he's decomposing. How do you get a talkative shirt to be quiet? Button it up. Someone asked my granddad what he still found attractive about my grandma. He said her teeth are like stars. They come out at night. I called the tinnitus helpline, but there was no answer. It just kept ringing. I feel a bit humiliated. I bought less expensive bird feed to save money. But, this morning all of the birds are shouting cheap. Shout out to my fingers. I know I can count on all of them. What did the Italian pastry chef say when he hit rock bottom? It can only go up from here. I asked Redditors for different opinions on what repost means. But for some reason I keep getting tons of the same answers. Why was the boat so cheap? It was on sale. A woman's place is in the House. And in the Senate. Why do tire shops do well in bad economies? Inflation is already priced in. What kind of doctor is most likely to go bankrupt? Proctologists, they're always in arrears. How do you make a hot dog stand? Take away its chair. When is the moon not hungry? When it's full. What do you call a rabbit with fleas? Bugs Bunny. A hole has been discovered in the walls of the nudist camp. The police are looking into it. They've stopped making new records and now supply is limited. It's the vinyl countdown. Why did the man not want to go clothes shopping? His wife said that there were lots of casual tees. When Noah was bored at sea, he had to take on hobbies, including odd things like the trigonometry involved in sunbathing. You may have heard of the Arcton function. How do you make a walnut laugh? Crack it up. What is it called when you polish a Ford Model T? A history buff. I'm Bob Jeffy. You don't want to miss this. There's a bonus dad joke waiting for you at the end of the episode. Let's spread some happiness, or pain, with these jokes. Wishing you a great day, and I'll be back with more jokes tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in. Do you have your own dad joke you want to share? Join the hundreds of listeners who have submitted their own dad jokes through my voicemail. 
please spread the laughs and groans and submit your own dad joke to our voicemail with the best ones to be included in special fan episodes. Just leave your name, the city and state you live in, and your best dad joke. Call 978-393-1076. I'll repeat that number, it's 978-393-1076, or check the show notes page for the number. I look forward to hearing from you. The Daily Dad Jokes podcast is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for social media links and joke credits. I have a friend who had an incredible date with a world-renowned snowboarder. Unfortunately, it was all downhill from there.